What's up everybody, uh, Jacob here, and I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to make your own color corrections within Sony Vegas Pro 11. I recently was having problems with my uh, Magic Boa looks, freaking mad about that, but um, yeah, so I've been creating my own, I just want to come out with a quick tutorial. Now normally within it, just to make my own color corrections, I use like a bump map, maybe Sony levels, and just the color curve. And I'll be showing you in just a minute. Okay, so first you want to get your clip in here, and I uh, will just use this motion track. Ah, I said it again motion track motion track that I um, have been working on lately and uh, just, you know pretty simple <clears throat> and this is what it looks like just normal okay so you can tell right there now so let's just start off over here under the video effects tab you can do it under all and we'll just start off with the color curve now I already have a preset right here that I tend to like, but you just pull in the default, drag it in, and you want to change it. And normally, you can you can pick all three of these and just you know play with it. It's all preference, so you know whatever you want it as. And I tend to like it more on the cool color sides. And this all depends on just like what game you're doing this for what your type of video is <clears throat> and so there we go you can tell in the background we have a color curve and let's say you want to make it darker well we can add a level in drag that in and let's make it a little bit darker maybe right there and let's see here maybe you want to make it dark like that now then after adding that let's say you want to just put a little bit more kinda of like emphasis on it you can use a bump map pull that in and it depends on how you use this this can look really bad but if you use it right it can look pretty cool in my opinion so you want to just kind of like play around with it obviously you can tell what it does kind of changes the background up and down a little bit maybe like right here is good just leave it on that and it doesn't look like we need it to be too intense because we want to keep it darker so about right there is good and then, let's say you want to put some glow into it. Just find that, wherever the hell that is. Right here. And we'll go with a white soft. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa, okay. So maybe about here bring the intensity down and suppress it a little bit okay and there you go. Now you have this versus this. So you can definitely see a difference here. And that is all for creating your own color corrections. It's simple and 
fairly easy. You just play around with the effects and all preference, whatever you like. Thanks for watching.